Knee instability is an unacceptable gait deviation which can render an otherwise excellent prosthesis unsafe and unusable. In this condition, the knee flexes uncontrollably at loading response. A visual reference line has been traditionally used to place the socket, knee, and ankle in an appropriate spatial relationship as viewed in the sagittal plane. This is referred to as the TKA, or trochanter knee ankle line, and can be seen here projected upon the lateral surface of the limb. Knee instability can occur when the socket is too far posterior to this reference line. Due to the inherent mechanical stability provided in contemporary knee designs, historical concepts about the TKA line may not always apply. Specifically, the knee may in some cases be placed anterior to the TKA line and still allow for a stable knee posture throughout stance phase. For example, microprocessor knees typically have a stance phase stability mode which is stable regardless of alignment. Knee instability can also occur in early stance phase when excessive resistance to plantar flexion is caused by a heel durometer or plantar flexion bumper that is too firm. If an articulated prosthetic foot has no resistance to dorsiflexion or is aligned in excessive dorsiflexion, the prosthetic tibia may continue to advance over the foot without restraint, even to the point of knee collapse. A short lever arm of the residual limb may also contribute to knee instability. Weakness of the hip extensors will present knee control problems that may need to be addressed through a physical therapy regimen. The gluteus maximus, a primary hip extensor, effectively prepositions the knee for appropriate stability. Flexion of the socket places the gluteus maximus on slight stretch improving its function as a hip extensor and secondarily as a prosthetic knee extensor. This occurs just prior to loading response in order to maintain stability in early stance phase.